only part of the car that isn't crushed carbon is the rear spoiler, which is actually carbon fiber. Just regular old boring carbon fiber. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to a very special episode of the Drift Games vlog. We've got what is arguably the most insane, ambitious and expensive drift car in the world for your viewing pleasure. If you've been checking out the Drift Games vlog right from the start, we were in Sultan al Qasimi's workshop in Abu Dhabi and we couldn't show the project that he was working on. Well, thankfully, today we can because it's finished. Before we show you around this incredible machine, which is now currently residing in Group D in Cork in Ireland, of all places, I want to talk to you a little bit about a very special competition we're running on the Drift Games vlog in association with Mix garage.com drift games alongside mixgarage.com are going to give you an amazing prize all you got to do is comment on this video and you've already got to be a subscriber to win the competition we are giving away one of the most technologically advanced dash cams on the market which is the thinkware f200 which is exclusive in mixgarage.com this thing does it all you can record 24 hours a day you can even check if your car is safe at night on an app on your phone it's an incredible piece of kit and we're giving away one to one of you lucky guys at home all you got to do is comment on this video and subscribe to the Drift Games channel. Also remember that you guys can avail from a 10% discount just being Drift Games fans on MixGarage.com. Enter the code DRIFT on checkout and you get 10% off all of your purchases. And remember MixGarage.com are basically cheaper than your motor factors and you can do it yourself at home and save yourself a lot of money. They're awesome supporters of what we do. We want you guys to support them also. With all that said, I think it's about time to show you the world's first and only Aston Martin Vantage drift car. day here in Cork very sunny surprisingly for Ireland and that makes sense because this car has come all the way from Abu Dhabi one of the most incredible builds in drifting I mean if you're a drift fan think back to 10 years ago that even would it be possible to see on the grid a fully crushed carbon Aston Martin drift car custom built so let's talk to you a little bit about what we know about this car so the car was not a write-off or a crash car this was a fully working Aston Martin Vantage that has had an incredible transformation. Let's talk about the outside. So the body kit on this car is a wide body kit from ACR Performance. And it's actually not from ACR Performance because Sultan Al Qasimi who built this car would have had to take this body kit from its supplier, then mold the entire body kit back again. So the original body kit would have been tossed, tossed to the side after the mold. And as you can know, the car is now completely built in crushed carbon. What is crushed carbon? Well. It's a lighter and more durable way of putting carbon fiber or carbon on your car. It's a very, very expensive process. This is this stuff which you see here on every single panel might be an option on the most expensive Lamborghinis or supercars in the world. You might get a splitter, you might get a spoiler, you might get a canard out of this stuff. But you don't build a whole car out of it. Even Lamborghini don't build a whole car out of it. But here we go. So this process took a very, very long time. How it came about? Well, I mentioned the body kit. The body kit was molded, everything on the car was 3D scanned, including the doors, including the bonnet, including everything. The entire car was rebuilt out of crushed carbon. So none of the original panels on the car remain. And this incredible, incredible bare naked crushed carbon is all that you can see. Now, it's a difficult process. As I mentioned, the 3D scanning, all of these parts and all of these doors had a lot of extensive 3D scanning and replicated in a mold and then created in crushed carbon. It's been a labor of love. It's not an easy process. It's the only drift car in the world that has this type of body on it. And when you think about it, he's going to be driving this against walls and stuff like that, that is pretty crazy. Um, so the body kit is, is attached on. Here's the little differences from the standard car. This is some of the stuff I like. Original door cards, or door handles rather, retained. Coolest door handles on a drift car in the entire world. They're actually so hot to touch here in the sun that I don't even, uh, I nearly burnt my hand. Windows replaced with Perspex on the outside. Just to give you an, an example, this is a roof skin. Again, crushed carbon. You're talking about maybe upwards of 2,000 euro just for the roof skin on this car, which is pretty insane. All white arched, whereas obviously Perspex windows again, just like any drift car you'd see with rad in the back. We'll get to that in a bit. This is interesting, never seen an Aston Martin 
with light blanks. The light blanks are also crushed carbon um, pieces which are molded into the body. And then we've got some red stickers uh, put on top. Big diffuser on the back. You can see the lifting point for the jack. The only part of the car that isn't crushed carbon is the rear spoiler, which is actually carbon fiber. Just regular old boring carbon fiber. The wheels, this is the next big part of this car that you might not be familiar with. We weren't familiar with ourselves. There's, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Skull Wheels from Los Angeles in California. Custom built, custom painted for this particular car. And just to give you guys an idea of the level of quality you're dealing with here, a set of four wheels on this car, five and a half thousand euro. And you're gonna need a lot more than that to be drifting. So the whole thing is crushed carbon. It's only broken up by some gold touches, the Abu Dhabi stickers, lunatics by nature on the roof. And of course these vents and door handles still in gold, okay? So that's the outside of the car, still on Aston Martin brakes. Have you ever seen the front of a car with the original Aston Martin brakes? And of course they're so good on this car, you don't need to replace them. Let's have a look under the bonnet. So the Aston Martin V8 is a pretty good engine, but it's been thrown away for something a little bit more aggressive. These bonnet pins, again, a touch of class. Just press in on both, and that bonnet pops right up. As you can see, no expense spared under the bonnet as well. We've got an LSA V8, Chevy V8, that's forged and built, and attached to that is two huge Garrett turbos. The LSXR inlet is on top as well, perfect for making a lot of horsepower. This car makes at the moment just over 700 horsepower to the wheels, which is probably about 780 or 790 to the fly, and this is on its run-in map. So this car is just brand new out of the box. They're still gonna push this on a little bit more and this thing is capable of well over a thousand horsepower if it needed to be. You can see that the whole car has been extensively modified and that's what I'm gonna talk about next on this car is the extensive modifications to the body. Now, what's different about most drift cars is trying to pass regulations is pretty easy. If you've got a Nissan S body or building a cage or any of those things, it's quite easy. However, on an Aston Martin Vantage, the entire chassis is made of aluminium to keep it lightweight. So how do you increase the safety? Well, you could chance your arm and come to championships and just a moment, look at this, butterfly doors. Doors go up as they come out. Aston Martin touch, retain that when they rebuilt the car. What's interesting about this car is that it's an aluminium chassis, as I mentioned, and in order to be able to pass regulations for championships in Europe, an extensive amount of work had to be done. So instead of just guessing, the guys went to ProDrive in the UK who built the GT cars for Le Mans, for Aston Martin, and took the schematics from all of that and ended up building this cage, which is essentially a bolt-on cage, but way over the specifications you would need of a weld-in cage to make it as safe as possible. And it's done an incredible job. You can look into the car. It actually looks like a GT Le Mans car. The cage here is very, very fancy and very, very different than what you'd see in any other sort of standard uh, drift car. Let's have a look at the inside though. This is a bit that I really like to do. So the whole door card is made of crushed carbon, as you can see, but it still has some fireproof suede on the inside, all custom stitched, as you can see, to work around all of the bars on the cage. All the dashboard is custom made from wood and then molded and then made in crushed carbon. So a lot of effort has gone into that. All of the switch panels, no fuses in this car. It runs fuseless, sequential gearbox, Samsona sequential gearbox, full, almost like a Tesla screen for all of the gauges and everything else that's involved in the car. We'll try and get a look at that in a minute. And then the dashboard, again, fireproof, suede everywhere. Got some nice details like the lunatics by nature, coins and sort of, you know, making it look more like a factory finish inside. And then these seats again from Sparco, custom stitched and engraved which you know, when you've gone this far, you might as well go the whole way. All of this, again, painted in a really, really nice silver. Uh, it's really, really nice, shows off all the, the manufacturing that's gone into this car. And you can actually see, if you look down here, some of the original chassis pieces, all in aluminium, uh, that from the standard car, and obviously the tunnel being modified for the Samsonis gearbox. And very interesting, because you obviously have to aluminium weld this car. You can't just weld it as a regular car. So a lot of very, very specific jobs had to be done that weren't easy. I want to bring it back to the front a little bit, because a lot of you guys will be wondering of how it works as a drift car. Well, it works pretty good, because unbelievably, the front steering on this car isn't just chopped up and cut hubs and things like that, because it's so unique. It actually runs the front steering from a Toyota Supra. It's a full wise fab kit on the front from a Toyota Supra, which only required, I think, four or five mil of modification to fit an Aston Martin. How they figured that out, we'll never know. But 
Toyota Supra front end. The back end, I think, retains some areas from a Lexus or something that was for, sort of, they tried a couple of different things out, but they have got a full winter's rear differential in the car, quick change, all that kind of good stuff. Let's have a little look around the back before we go to the other side in the driver's cockpit. This boot lid is so, so light. So in the back, well, this looks like a regular drift car, right? Except for the firewall, which is super tasty. As you can see, it's a custom firewall in this car. You've got a radium fuel system, all very similar to what you would see in James Dean's car or any of the rest of these. Got huge fans in the back as well, taking all that air from underneath the car and pushing it back out through these vents here, keeping everything nice and cool. As you can see, the back end of the car has been completely chopped off, which might be quite sacrilegious to Aston Martin owners all over the world, but you've got your full bolt in. I think this one is also going to get a full rear uh, bash bar on the back as well, a bash bar on an Aston Martin. It's really happening and drifting. And this first time it'll ever see a wall will be Mondello Park at round three of the Drift Games Extreme. So they've got to prepare for that. That's why they've got the light blanks in, but I don't know if anyone's going to be able to watch this car go anywhere near a wall. But that is exactly what's happening. It's been built for purpose. So we have a look at the other side. These door, can we just, can we just look at these door handles again on a drift car? Look at that. Wow. Butterfly doors again. We've got a little look inside here at the cockpit. Very simple. Gauges are all in the middle. And this is just your indicator of where your gear is on the Samsung sequential box. OMP steering wheel. And we have a Tilton pedal box as well, just to make it more of a race car. And it very much is almost like a Le Mans or GT car with gone over the top on power for drifting and over the top on the crushed carbon. So it's pretty insane. Everything, all the fire safety stuff, battery and everything in the back there as well, you guys can have a look at. And this dashboard is pretty special as well. Inside, well, it's quite cozy. It's actually quite a small car when you're inside, very similar to a GT86. And I think in dimensions, it's not far away. Quite simple on the dashboard, it looks really good. You can just see what gear you're in and you've got a pretty good view at the front of the car. The visibility isn't so bad. I love this dashboard, crushed carbon and then this long display actually shows you all of your gauges in one display, which is very, very cool and very, very digital. It also has Sultan's Garage 17 logo actually at the very middle, which I really, really like. So like little touches like that, that's awesome. And then a little switch panel down here. I love these. You've just got everything so easily accessible, soft touch buttons, one button for everything, no fuses. And then you've got your Tilton. You can just set your brake bias front to back here. And you've got your, obviously your sequential gearbox, hydraulic handbrake, which of course is gold as well to match the rest of the car. And there you have it. And one of the most incredible insides of a car I've ever been in, especially in a drift car. So there you have it guys, one of the most insane, ambitious, crazy, and definitely expensive drift cars in the entire world. And this thing is coming to an event in Ireland near you soon. And it's gonna smash some walls. I mean, this is really happening. Think 10 years ago in Ireland and drifting, we would never expect to see anything like this. I love it. I think it's one of the coolest cars that has ever been created in drifting. It's fresh, it's new. Even if it was just an Aston Martin with a V8, we'd be impressed. But to go the length of putting the whole car in crushed carbon, all the little touches, it is insane. Once again, guys, thanks for checking out another episode of the Drift Games vlog. We had a blast checking out the Aston. We can't wait to see it on track soon in Ireland, which is gonna blow all of our minds. If you guys enjoyed the content, let us know in the comments section below. And remember, you can win that incredible dash cam from mixedgarage.com by just commenting on this video. And we can send it pretty much anywhere in the world. Just make sure you're already a subscriber and you throw something cool down, some opinion on the car or what you wanna see on the Drift Games vlog. It doesn't really matter what it is. And guys, if you haven't already checked out the Drift Games online store, we've got a huge range of Drift Games clothing, including stuff like this. And we now have a full stock of Hoonigan clothing also. Check it out. Grab yourself something fresh for the shows this year and the events to come. Thank you so much. I'm gonna take a breath and I'm gonna have another couple of looks around this car. We'll see you on the next one. So that's another episode of the Drift Games vlog in the books. Have you guys been enjoying them? What do you wanna see? Do you wanna see more builds? Do you wanna see more events? Do you wanna see more crazy cars tucked away in sheds? You let us know. Whatever you comment below, we're gonna start following on your lead because Drift Games is all about making you, the fans, happy. Thanks for checking this one out. We'll see you on the next episode.